Hi everybody. After watching uh, that video over and over again, I saw many more things and um, <laughs> Girl Town just uh, messaged me back. <laughs> um, I saw, I saw that David Lynch is um, authorized to chop people up. I'm uh, re-editing the video and I want you to see how Naomi Watts' face totally changed and how David Lynch, all of his actors are trans for the most part um, because he sees them as the ultimate actors because they can um, play the other gender permanently. Um, What else? Uh, he obviously is using, you know, dairy as a farming, uh, farming people. Um, oh, also the um, significant synchronicities with Girl Town, um, right when um, David Lynch is complaining about the lights buzzing. Uh, I have a strong feeling this is like Luciferian interference, and it's like, uh, Girl Town and I are bothering him astrally, like outside of time, like we're going back in time and fucking with the lights. <laughs> and by making these videos about him, we're drawing attention to his tricks. Um, so I just think that's funny. But um, <clears throat> I also want you guys to notice that when he starts talking about um, ideas and thoughts, um, he wants you to be open to any idea and any thought and notice the images that are focused on when um, certain words are said. Uh, like he wants you to carry out like evil thoughts and to um, basically do whatever is put into your head. So um, he's a charmer and um, Basically, it's figured out you can get people to do what you want them to do if you compliment them and you tell them what they want to hear about themselves, which is generally compl complimentary, um, but he is very manipulative. Anywho, please enjoy. I love to eat cheese. <laughs> I'd spent 10 years of auditioning in Los Angeles where you... Lucky if you get to meet the director, you might not get a bit of eye contact or a handshake or anything. Nonetheless, David looked at me and he actually asked me questions. So there was a conversation. He sat me still and said, I'm interested in you. And therefore I was able to <laughs> I, I, sure cry. Love you. I sure love you, Naomi. <laughs> I want a pet monkey. Wood, wood is such a blessing for humanity. What the f is David Lynch doing? He's just sitting He's on the just corner of La Brea and Hollywood with a f***ing cow. <laughs> I went out with a cow um, and a placard uh, for uh, Laura Dern. And it was, you know, a necessity because I didn't have the money to buy ads in the trades and it brought awareness. If you want to see the greatest performance of 2006, check out Laura Dern's performance in Inland Empire. Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? Here in LA, beautiful blue skies. Here in LA, beautiful blue skies. Golden sunshine. Golden sunshine. Muted sunshine. It's 65 degrees Fahrenheit. 54 degrees Fahrenheit. 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, good. Get her undressed and, and, and we'll do this thing. Naomi came in and did not 
look exactly okay. like the photograph that I had fallen in love with. It was disappointing. It was not <laughs> disappointing. A little bit. It was, it was um, uh, devastating. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing with that champ. That's short for champion. Yes. There seems to be a growing trend in Hollywood now where there's a lot of prominent product placements. How do you, as a filmmaker, feel about this growing trend? Bullshit. We're freezing our ass off up here. Who gives a fucking shit how long a scene is? What a heavy load Einstein must have had. <laughs> fucking morons everywhere. <laughs> What's that buzzing? It's the lights. What's that buzzing? The lights. Fuck. Drive you nuts. Fucking A, man. It drives me nuts. I love to eat cheese. <laughs> we're cooking quinoa. Moths were flipping and flying and like frogs. Frog moths were pulling themselves out of the earth and flying up in front of the stand. Dust was blowing. It was like a... a and there you have it. A fantastic bowl of quinoa. Would you like some pie? Massive, massive quantities and a glass of water, sweetheart. My socks are on fire. She's my mother's sister's girl. I had another Monica Bellucci dream. You remind me today of a small Mexican chihuahua. Action, Kale. 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 And he calls me Kale. That's another story. <laughs> okay. Because during Dune, Dino De Laurentiis, who produced that, couldn't say Kyle. And he called me Gale. Hey, Gale. And he had spoke like that. Sure. David picked that up. He becomes kind of fond of it. So now he calls me Kale. He says, Kale. Kale, you come to right about here. Mm -hmm. And you come in, Tidbit. My nickname is Tidbit since I was 16. <laughs> okay, I love you, Tidbit. I love you, sweetie. I love you. I just remember he said, cut. Tidbit. Tidbit. I love you, sweetie. I love you. I just remember he said, cut. Tidbit. You'll have them bolting for the fire exits. <laughs> I was like, Oh my God, it seemingly crushed, but he was so happy. I guess I did it the way he wanted me to. <laughs> I'd spent 10 years of auditioning in Los Angeles where you, lucky if you get to meet the director, you might not get a bit of eye contact or a handshake or anything. Nonetheless, David looked at me and he actually asked me questions. So there was a conversation. He sat me still and said, I'm interested in you and Therefore, I was able to. <laughs> I, I, sure cry. Love you. I sure love you, <laughs> Naomi. Naomi knocked this thing out of the park. She is such a fantastic actress. Laura Dern is one of the all time great actresses. She could play anything. I got a call that he wanted to meet me at Bob's Big Boy to see if Kyle McLaughlin and I could get along or something. <laughs> I used to go to Bob's Big Boy restaurant and I went there for seven years, every day at 2.30. Not Chinese dentist time, it was a Chinese dentist time, but um, I went there because they, I like to have a chocolate milkshake. We ordered malts and french fries and there was a silver goblet shake it wasn't really ice cream it was a thing they put into, into a thing called a tailor machine and it would get cold and they pull the lever and it would come out in kind of a tube of ice cream and fill this goblet and i like this chocolate milkshake i had these things for seven years with a cup of coffee and i would write on the napkins david was doodling on napkins while kyle was doodling with a knife into his ketchup and i mean <laughs> a girl either goes these are really bizarre men and their twin souls or i'm in love with both these people and want to spend the rest of my lives with them which is how i responded and i would write on the napkins it was like having a, a desk 
and you need paper, there's a piece of paper and you write on it when you get ideas. Ideas are, are so beautiful and they're so abstract and um, they do exist someplace. I don't know if there's a, a name for it and I think they exist like fish and I believe that if you sit quietly like you're fishing, you will catch uh, ideas. The real, you know, beautiful big ones swim kind of deep down there so you have to be very quiet and, you know, uh, wait for them to come along. If you catch an idea, you know, any idea, it wasn't there and then it, and then it's there. It might just be a small fragment of, like I say, a feature film or a song or a lyric or whatever, but you've got to write that idea down right away. And as you're writing, sometimes it's amazing how much comes out, you know, from that one flash. So you get an idea and it is like a seed. And in your mind, the idea is seen and felt and it explodes like uh, it's got electricity and light connected to it and it has all the images and the feeling and it's like in an instant you know the idea in an instant then the thing is translating that to some medium it could be a film idea or a painting idea or a furniture idea it doesn't matter it wants to be something it's a seed for something so the whole thing is translating that idea to a medium and in the case of film it takes a long time and you always need to go back and, and stay true to that idea the film is the thing you work so hard you know after the ideas come to get this thing built all the elements to feel correct the whole to feel correct in this beautiful language called cinema Have a great day, everyone.